All right, in this lesson, we're going to talk about working with holes. So basically, holes inside your geometry, how you can deal with them, how you can create them, and how you can close them. Okay. So uh, there are several ways to make holes in your geometry. I mean, the easiest way that I can think of would be to come in here and maybe grab faces. And just to make it pretty, instead of just deleting this, uh, this face out, I'll extrude this. And instead of moving the extrusion anywhere, I'm just going to scale it down uniformly. And then I'll hit the delete key. And cool. instantly, you know, you could argue, I've just made a hole. Right. But what if you needed a hole that was more intricate than this? Something that was just a little more interesting. This is where the make hole tool comes in handy. Okay. So let's talk about how we need to use this. First of all, I'm going to create a polygon. But before I do, I'm going to take my cube and I'm going to move it down beneath the grid. And you'll see why here in just a moment. I'll just set it down beneath the grid about like so. Then I'll hide my grid again. We don't really need it anymore. I'm going to use my Create Polygon tool, and I'm just going to create, uh, we'll say a letter Z down here in the lower corner of this. The mark of Zach. Yes. It's a very cool letter, Z. We'll press Enter, and now I've got a polygon that is in the shape of a Z. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a tool here that, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about in another lesson. I'm going to go ahead and combine these together so that they're the same object. And let's talk about making holes, or using the, the make hole tool. So as I activate this guy, the help line is actually going to tell me how to use this. It says, uh, select the, f the first or outer face. So in this case, that's going to be the Z, or the, the actual letter I've created. Okay. Then it says, select the second or the whole face from the second object. Or from, I'm sorry, from the same object. Okay. That's the key here. Both of these faces must be from the same object. All right. Now, you don't have to, per se, create uh, a separate face the way I did with the Create Polygon tool, but you're going to see that this is a very handy way to create customized holes in your geometry. So now I'll, I'll select my second face. Then it says press enter to validate or backspace to cancel the selection. I'll press enter and whop. We end up with a hole in our geometry in the shape of a Z. Very cool. But something has happened, something very interesting. If we look now, ah. the geometry has sort of deformed to come up and meet that other face. Right. Now, there are no edges that have been no, added. No, at all. Which uh, does make the face a bit ugly, given. Yes. But when you triangulate it later on, that will help this. Now, the reason that this looks so strange is because of the merge mode that was used inside of uh, this operation. So let's have a look at the different merge modes available. By default, none is what is selected. So this is the result of none. Essentially, the second face will just kind of merge up to meet your first face. So right. now you have a hole in the second face, but uh, you know neither one of them really moved. Then we have first, middle, and last. I'll begin with first, and now watch very closely our object when I switch over to first. Hmm. It adjusts. Now, what happened here is that the second face has aligned itself with the first face. As you can see here, the Z is no longer down in the corner of this face. Right, it's in the middle. Exactly, it's been moved down to the middle. What's happened is that these two faces are now aligned with each other. All right. And the first merge mode dictates that the second face is going to align itself to the first face. Okay. So Makes you're al sense. you're aligning to the first face. So uh, because of that, you'll notice we no longer technically have a cube anymore. We have sort of a slanted shape. So now let's switch over. Instead of going to middle, I'll go ahead and go to last, and look what happens. Ah. Uh. The perfect cube is retained, but the two faces are now properly aligned. Nice. What's happened now is that the last face has now aligned itself with the first face. Okay. Makes sense. Exactly. So now let's go ahead and check out middle, and all this really does is just take the difference in between the two. Right. So that's pretty cool. You know, we have the ability to align our faces together. But what if we don't want our faces to align? What if we really wanted that Z to be down in the corner of the face? This is where you would use projection for first, middle, or last. I'll begin with projected first. And what happens is that the second face just moves straight up to meet the first face. Okay. So that now they do exist in the same, uh, same plane, but all that's happened, there's been no aligning. You'll notice the Z is still down in the corner of the right, face, exactly. but it has come up to meet it. So now let's go ahead and take a look at project last and watch it very closely. Boom. Now it's, dro it's dropped down. What's happened right. here is that the second face, the Z face, has moved down to meet the, the, 
I'm sorry, the first face, the Z face, has moved down to meet the second. Okay. So there's no aligning taking place. Again, it's just projecting straight down. And then project middle is just going to take the difference between the two. two. So where could this come in handy? Well, we could say take this Z here and, oh, I'm not sure. Let's grab the edges around this all the way around. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that keep faces together is on. I'm feeling an extrusion coming on. Exactly. We'll go ahead and extrude edge. And I will move these in world Y straight up into the Ooh, air. Very nice. Very cute. So I've just, yeah, I've just extruded this uh, letter right out of a, a straight Q. Awesome, dude. But I still got this hole. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how do I fix this hole? I mean, it's just, it's going to look very lousy if we have this pop up like in a static mesh in a game. We can actually, because uh, in Unreal, it's not like in Maya. We wouldn't be able to see the inside of the object. We'd just see out into nothing. Right. So we'd have a problem. It'd be like we could just see all the way through the object from here. Well, how about so we fill up the hole? Exactly. We need to be able to fill up the hole. And it just so happens there is a tool inside of Maya called <gasps> Fill Hole. Dude, no way. Or a command. This is technically not a tool. But here's how this works. You select a border edge. Now, all before right. any of you ask, what is a border edge? What is a border edge? A well, very good. A border edge is going to be an edge next to or an edge adjacent to a hole. Okay, on the border. Exactly. So, well, okay, I got you. So we've got a, a hole here in the shape of a Z. I can select an edge that is touching this hole, and under Edit Polygon, select Fill Hole, and boom. Just fills it right in with a Dude, single polygon. Nice. Now, this can uh, also work in other areas, too. So let's say we've come in here, and again, I'll just make a, an extrusion, about like so, and I don't know, maybe I'll make another extrusion. And here's what I'm going to do. Just to show you how fancy this tool can really be, I'm going to take both of these faces and delete them out. So I now have two holes. Mm -hmm. I can right-click and select multiple edges next to numerous holes and fill several holes at the same time. Very nice. Very so, powerful. Exactly. So it can really speed up your workflow as opposed to coming under polygons and choosing a pen to polygon tool and going all the way around and filling these in one at a time. You could much more quickly just come in and say fill hole and get them filled in just like that. Exactly. So that's really going to take care of everything I wanted to talk about for holes. We've talked about ways you can make holes, ways you can work with them, ways you can fill them back in when you're done. So that's really going to wrap it up for this lesson. And that's the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Thank you.